Hi guys, welcome to This Week on The Rock, the show where we tell the news and we accomplish nothing. This week with me on the show, we have Emma Hogg. She's founder of uh, the YouTube channel and blog, A Life I Choose, and a psychotherapist. Now, you might have noticed that today we have a little bit of a different setting. Um, last Wednesday, it was actually a mental health day, and I feel like it's a very important issue, and it's something that we should look at more in length rather than the news for today. Uh, so, Emma, um, you're a psychotherapist, so you have you know, some know on this topic, you actually um, have your own YouTube channel and your blog and you get into this stuff very much. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked it up, it's good, I actually really enjoyed the, the last one you said where you spoke about self-empowerment and something I really appreciate. Um, Thank you. Tell me a bit more about that, like self-empowerment and how you think it's important. Okay, um, it's interesting this concept of self-empowerment, nobody's mm -hmm. asked me about that mm -hmm. specifically before. Um, well, to me, empowerment is, even though it's a very trendy word, and I think some people are a bit put off by it because they don't really understand what, what, it, what it is, um, it's the opposite of helplessness, right? So helplessness is, this is my situation, it sucks, and there's nothing I can do about it. And a lot of people get stuck in that. And um, helplessness is the... Is the the cause of, of depression and a lot of anxiety and which are not bad things to go through it's not like we should never mm. experience depression or anxiety like it's a total normal mm. something very common especially in young people exactly even in older like mm. it's a total yes. totally normal human experience um but the opposite of helplessness is empowerment mm. it's this is my situation and you know okay this is this is what's happening and what can i do to create what I want, what can I do to move forward mm -hmm. in a way that I feel good about my life and and I'm, mm -hmm. you know, taking into consideration the people around me. And why, why would you say that a lot of people start feeling helpless? Like, what, what, what tends to be the reason why people get to that place? Um, Sometimes it's a predisposition, like it's like a gen genetic predisposition. Mm -hmm. um, it's also the environment you grow up in. Mm -hmm. If you grow up with parents who uh, are go-getters, they create stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, you will. You, it becomes possible, right? Mm -hmm. If your, if one of your parents starts up their own business, it's it's not something foreign to you. It's it's a possibility, mm -hmm. already. So. You know, and then if you're around people who are very like more kind of this is what happens and mm -hmm. then you you sort of that that's your that's your reality, right? Growing up. And um, in your experience, um, as a psychotherapist, and maybe with we'll the workshops you've done, uh, what do people tend to? relate to like when you when you talk to people and you see their faces light up sometimes mm -hmm. um what is the particular thing you think that people don't hear enough so to me when somebody's eyes light up they're awake mm -hmm. right because a lot of the time we sort of go inwards and we become very dull and mm -hmm. non-present mm -hmm. and when people are present they're they're contactful in the, in the moment, right? So like you and I are right now. <laughs> yes, we're making eye contact, you just smiled, which brightens my <laughs> smile, I mentioned it, you smiled exactly, more, yeah. and we bounce off each other, mm -hmm. there's electricity. Mm -hmm. So this is us being alive. Mm -hmm. When does this happen in therapy, mm -hmm. is your question? Not necessarily therapy, like even if you have to give a talk, like what do people really latch on to, you think? What do people respond to? Exactly, yeah. Presence, mm -hmm. definitely. If you're not present, nobody responds to you because you're not there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and contact, you being approachable, mm -hmm. you know, like even in therapy, it's not about I am the all-knowing therapist. <laughs> No, sure. like yeah. I'm figuring out life just like you are, so how can I tell you mm -hmm. what's best for you? Mm -hmm. it, it's so it, it's almost like people have have to get used to being in uncomfortable situations maybe and 
that put themselves out there? Am I get, getting that right? To do what they need like, to put for, themselves. For example, people are feeling a certain anxiety about something. Uh -huh. For example, as we spoke before, I mentioned that you know I was a bit camera shy. Obviously, it's not the case anymore. Ma, but uh, I think you push yourself. Exactly. So, yeah. you, you know, I, I, I personally feel like the way I could get over my fear of being in front of cameras and putting myself out there, you know, on the internet, essentially, was by actually doing it. Exactly. You know, if you don't take risks, I don't think you can get over your 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 fears. Exactly. Mm. You're spot on. That's so. And do you think that that's something people don't hear enough, maybe? I think that the difficulty is that I think people know that to grow you need to risk. Mm. You need to put yourself into uncertain situations, right? Mm. Which is scary, this fear. Mm. I think the, the, the difficulty is having enough support, okay? Having enough internal support for you to step into that uncertainty and be, to be able to tolerate it. Mm -hmm. Because life is does not go smoothly. Mm -hmm. Anything you want to create, there's mm -hmm. going to be challenges. You want to create a business, challenges. Mm -hmm. You want to have a successful relationship, Ooh, challenges, <laughs> right? Anything. It, it, we don't, um, I remember uh, Jordan Peterson had actually said something. Like he said, uh, nobody has the right to be comfortable. No, if you're comfortable, you're dying. Exactly. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Exactly. Um, and it's, it's, it's nice to be comfortable sometimes. Like yes, obviously. To step in, be mm -hmm. comfortable, to re-nourish. Mm -hmm. But so that then you go and step out again. Mm -hmm. And that's, in mentioning Jordan Peterson, that's a really good segue to the, another topic I'd like to mention, which has to do with um, mental health. Um, mm -hmm. So when you look at the uh, suicide statistics, um, not just in Malta, I mean around the world, there is, men are vastly disproportionate, I think, in represented here in Malta, I think it's over 80%. And so what, what are the statistics? I'm not familiar um, with them at the moment. Uh, if, I'm not, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, um, whilst women do attempt suicide more, men usually actually do it. Actually do it. They use more lethal force, so to speak. Mm -hmm. um, and th this topic, I feel, it's even though obviously it's spoken about when mental health week comes out, I feel like men's issues in general tend <laughs> nowadays have taken kind of a back bench. Back step. Uh -huh. And obviously uh, <coughs> it's kind of like a pendulum, I think. People we came from an era where men had, you know, maybe a bit more power, for lack of a better word. Yeah, so then and it switches to exactly the other extreme. Now I think it, it's maybe the pendulum is swinging the other way. The um, future is female. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I look forward to the matriarchy. <laughs> the matriarchy. <laughs> <laughs> the matriarchy. <sorry. laughs> um, no, but I think this is a very big issue, especially, and I obviously I think I probably think it's a big, even bigger issue because I was in that dark place, you know, and I didn't have. I. I, I found it very difficult to discipline myself in a way and even though I had, you know, I, my dad was the disciplinarian in the house and obviously when you're younger you don't really listen, you know, um, but over time I came to a point where, okay, listen, I need to do something, you know, and I accepted it, I found help. Um, and this is something I want to point out because there's men try to feel, you know, pride, you know, they don't want help. Mm. Is that something you come across a lot? I think there is an element of pride. I, mm. I've also come across a lot of women where there's this pride. But I think more than the pride, there's the programming from when mm. men are very young mm -hmm. of don't cry, mm -hmm. power through, mm -hmm. tough enough, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I think women are given more space emotionally. To, mm. to be emotional. Mm. Men are not taught to value their emotions. Mm. And, and our emotions are our inner compasses. Mm. We can't know what decision to make if we don't listen to our emotions. 
Does this make sense? <laughs> Even I would I would actually agree that maybe I found it harder to accept that I can be sad yes. back then. Yeah. And nowadays, even though you know I openly express my emotion whenever you know it's reasonable. Funnily enough, I still feel myself going. You know, this is really pissing me off. Um, I I know this is not good for me, but you know somehow I have to keep pushing through. I mean, like this, you know, I. This is making me extremely anxious being in front of a camera, but I know that to get over it, I have to do it. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Well, I think your anxiety is a, is a, look, anxiety physiologically is the exact same, the exact same reaction as excitement. Mm -hmm. Okay? So the same thing is happening in the body. The difference is, one, do you breathe to support yourself? Okay? Because if you breathe, then you can think because you, you, you calm the nervous system down a bit. And also, is where that, is that advice for now? <laughs> <laughs> you can take it if you want. But also, where do you put your focus, right? So, what mm -hmm. language are you using? What language are you, are you telling yourself? Are you saying, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm so scared, I'm gonna fuck this up, I'm gonna fuck this up? Or are you saying, I'm so excited, mm -hmm. I can't wait to engage with this person? Mm -hmm. you, got, you have to be optimistic about the situation, really. Or rather than optimistic, not, not immediately go to worst case scenario. Yes. But also, you know, your anxiety is, is information. It's... Uh, okay, so if we, if we were to unpack it a bit, okay? Mm -hmm. And okay. this is not specifically to you, because mm -hmm. everybody experiences anxiety and fear. You can use me as an example, I don't mind. Thank you. I don't mind being a topic. But like, I mean, <laughs> I, I experience it as well, mm -hmm. right? So, um, let's say we're doing this video, mm -hmm. and... Um, and, and I say something stupid, okay. right? I say something in a way that maybe I haven't thought about before, it was half-baked. Mm -hmm. The whole of the show does itself, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But um, enough when I say something really like inappropriate or something. Mm -hmm. And um, why is there that fear, right? That I might do this, that mm -hmm. I might screw this up. Mm -hmm. Because if I mess this up, people could end up thinking, I'm a bad therapist. Mm -hmm. If I'm a bad therapist, no one will come for therapy. Nobody will choose me as their therapist. Mm -hmm. If no one chooses me as their therapist, I cannot earn a living. Mm -hmm. If I cannot earn a living, I cannot be financially <laughs> independent. If I'm not financially independent, I have no choice <laughs> over my life, right? So, underneath exactly. anxiety, there's always it's like it's like a snowball effect, like one, one bad thought leads to an even worse one almost. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But it's it's okay to acknowledge because you know what, in reality it's like, okay, um, okay, so I might make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Okay, or the, the fear is that mm -hmm. I'm not enough, mm -hmm. I don't know so, enough. Or... So, th there's nothing essentially wrong with the fear, it's how you, how you use it in a sense. Yeah. So the acknowledging it is fine, like, okay, if I mess this up, everything's going to go down the drain. But, you know, personally I use it, and I, I think this is what you mean, but why, why not what you mean, where I think people should use that fear. As in, if you don't take that fear and look and say, listen, if this is the worst case scenario, and I can't do what makes me happy because of it, then I'm just not going to do it, you know? Yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah, I might make a mistake, but what's the chances of like kind of really, mm -hmm. really screwing it up? And the truth is, even if I make a mistake, right? R mistakes are usually repairable. You know, mm -hmm. like you can go out again. You can put out a, a blog post. I could, I could make another video. I can correct it. I can. Mm -hmm. Do you, do you it, know what I mean? Uh, it's, it's all like a, 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 it's a learning curve. Almost, it's like yes. life finding. You yes. Know, you, I mean, the age old metaphor you learn from your mistakes, so to speak. Yeah. Um, why, apart from the, the possibility of pride when it mm -hmm. comes to men, what would you say there are other things that, is, that holds men back or maybe gets men in that position? Yes. Um, I think so. We, you know, we were saying about sort of the they're conditioned, right? They're sort of trained mm -hmm. to not pay attention to the emotion. Mm -hmm. 
and also to not express themselves so much. And the thing is, when we don't express ourselves, um, we have no clue where we stand on things. Mm -hmm. When we don't tune in to listen to the emotion, okay? Because, for example, if, if, if you do something right now and it makes me feel angry, right? Mm -hmm. um, what does anger tell me? That I didn't like something that you did, mm. right? Yeah. Okay, so then that informs me. I can, well, I can either choose to put a poof, like, right, kind of like blow up about it, or I can just go, okay, there was something about it that I'm not keen on. I breathe, and then I figure out how to communicate it in a way if I need to, mm -hmm. depending on whatever. Now, if I am not paying attention to my emotional reactions, I don't know where I am in relation to mm. the people in my life, my career, mm. where my life is going. Mm. I'm not actively making decisions about where my life is going. So I can end up in situations where I'm very unhappy mm. and not know why. Okay, uh, okay. running out of time. Okay. So thank you guys for watching. I this was really interesting conversation. I wish we were on for longer. Maybe we could get you back on the show sometime. Sure, I'd love it. Okay, um, <laughs> would you like to plug anything to anything to our viewers? Okay. Yes, sure. So hi to all of you who I haven't met before. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, if you wanna, if you wanna see me, I have a YouTube channel. It's a life I choose, and you can check out my blog. It's a life I choose dot com. Thank you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to comment. Maybe. Uh, your opinion on the matter, don't forget to subscribe and see you next week.